For those of you unfamiliar with biodiesel, I'm going to step you through each of the nutrients that comes in the biodiesel starter kit to tell you exactly what they are and what they're used for. So first and foremost, the green diamond. So this is your two-part AB nutrient. You'll be running this as your base through your whole run. Uh, it is the foundation of this line. It is mostly suitable. It's the only thing in the line that is not suitable for soil. It is only suitable for hydroponic use and hydroponic substrates, but this will create the foundation for the rest of this line. So you always wanna put this in first and foremost, and you always wanna have this in your run, unless you're only using the additives for soil. Second to that, you've got your foundation builder. So you've got your Supernatural. This contains kelp and algan extracts, as well as fulvic and humic acids. It's primarily a root stimulant, but it can be used throughout the whole run to mobilize minerals and increase your nutrient transport to where your plant needs them. And this is very important for elements like calcium and potassium and anything that's grown under LED lighting. Next up is your Marine Cow Mag. It's a concentrated growth booster, it contains high amounts of calcium, magnesium and nitrogen for increasing your growth rates and your health because these are in high demand at all times, especially under LED lighting or hot environments. It also works as a great foliar spray with Elevate for faster growth and better lateral branching. A small bottle will make 2,000 litres of solution. So even though it's a small bottle in the kit, it goes a long way. Elevate, this is a whole leaf aloe vera and yucca extract. It has a lot of functions, so it contains hundreds of vitamins, minerals, trace elements, and salicylic acid for real strong branches and strong growth and better cell structure. This will help support heavier yields um, and it is perfect for seedlings and cuttings to get them off to a really good start. And the aloe vera is a natural root stimulant and it will encourage a lot of root growth as well as strengthening all those cells. Elevate also increases immune response in your plants, helping them fight stress and temperature. Okay, so that brings us to our blooming phase. So biodiesel, the flagship of the range, the name itself, uh, it's the original quality and oil enhancer. This is your main flowering additive. Um, it's more than just a back guano. Uh, it increases your yields and it increases your oils and your flavors. Uh, it's a favorite of growers and it won't affect your pH or your EC values. And really it is the foundation of your entire bloom, flowering or fruiting stage. As an addition to your flowering, to your biodiesel, Rhino K. It's an organic potassium, probably one of the only few I'm aware of. It's used to bulk out and increase your flowers and fruits. It's really a big deal in terms of your quality and your finish and your density. So potassium is very important in those late stages of development. So it is a very powerful assistant to your flowering regime and it's a fantastic product. Additions to this is the Bio One, which is a lactobacillus microbe inoculant. Uh, and basically what they do is they enhance your nutrient cycling and it increases crop protection. And this ultimately will mean that the plant uh, functions better and creates a, a better organic profile in the end. Finally, your Crystal Clear. So this is a flushing product. Uh, much more important for those doing a hydroponic crossover using cocoa or uh, peat or any other kind of hydroponic substrate. This will bring out more colours and sweetness in your final harvest. It helps by reducing built up salt levels in late stages so that you don't have uh, any concentration of nuisance salts in the end in your, in your products. The other things that they've included is your Mycos and your Azos powders. So your mycos powder is your main mycorrhizal inoculant which will help protect you against nasty funguses and root rot. It also helps the plant um, stabilize itself and increases your nutrient uptake. And azos is a beneficial microbe, so this one's bacteria and as opposed to your mycos which is your fungal element. So the azos will uh, help convert atmospheric nitrogen make it more available to the plants and is very important in the formation of veg vegetative matter and growth. So 
This will also help with your root development. It works as a cutting powder uh, for seeds and transplanting, root drenching. You can water it through, you can mix it into your soil. There's a lot you can do with it. And it is a, uh, it is a favorite amongst home gardeners. As for the swag proportion of your starter kit, you have your, of course, your limited edition hoodie, but you also get a sealable stash jar or nutrient mixing jar. It can be used for storing stuff or it can be used because it has the measurements on the side to pre-dilute some of the nutrients and make them go into your reservoir easier. And in these jars, you get your Art of Trog limited edition biodiesel stickers and biodiesel stickers, which are highly sought after. They've included the new 2425 feed chart has been updated in a lot of different ways. So it's basically a grower's manual now. It has the advice for your environment and your nutrient at all stages and how best to use their nutrients, foliar and in the reservoir. Um, it perfectly rounds things out for you and it gives you tips on watering and climate and all the essential info for your grow. And it's such a useful guide because a lot of that information can be misleading online. So it's good to have a physical in the hand chart that tells you that. And even if you run out of your nutrients, you can still use this chart regardless of what you decide to do in the future. So if you're looking for those big hydro yields and the quality of organics, biodiesel is perfectly sitting between those two things. So please check it out. Give it a go, you will not be disappointed.